What's up guys, my name is Signal, but here for Troubleshoot, and today we've got a video for you on Twitch. So as you may or may not know, when you're on Twitch and watching a live stream, if you're signed in, you can hit Alt X or click the clip button in the bottom right of a live stream to go ahead and save the last minute and a half to two minutes of the stream, of which you can then pull out a 60 second or less clip that you can go ahead and publish on your own channel and on the channel you clipped it for. Once you click it, you'll see a new tab like this where you can go ahead and review the last minute and a half. You can adjust the amount of time, give it a title, and once you hit the publish button with a title, then it will automatically be put into the clip section of a Twitch streamer, and the more people that see it, the higher up it'll be listed on the top or trending list. Of course, if you want more people to see it, the easiest way to do that is by sending it to the text chat. Now that you know this, how exactly do you go ahead and delete a clip that you created if you don't like the content of it? Well, it's a little bit more confusing than you might think. As soon as you hit that Alt X button or click the clip button and you see this screen over here, the last minute and a half of the Twitch live stream are automatically linked to your account. Whether you close the page now or you give it a title or you hit publish, it is saved to your account. Knowing this, how do we know what clips our account has created? Well, it's pretty simple. In the very top right, click your user account picture and head across to the creator dashboard. Now, of course, Twitch changes the way that they show everything once in a while, and this does already look a little bit different to what I'm used to. However, in the top right where it says home, simply click the hamburger button to bring up this menu over here, head across to content, followed by clips. Now, of course, if you can't get here, you can head across to dashboard.twitch.tv slash you slash your username slash content slash clips. Now that's a bit long. Of course, it's easier to do it using the method clicking your user account in the top right, but this may be a bit easier for you if you're on a different device. Anyways, now we can see all of the clips that are related to our account, whether they're published or not. As you can see, I've gone ahead and clicked the clip button four times while trying to record this video. And this one over here is the last two minutes that I clipped probably about a minute ago. As you can see, it's all saved here. And whether it's published or not, it'll be linked to my account practically forever. So how exactly do we go ahead and delete it? Well, it's actually pretty simple. Once you've clicked on it to expand it, in the top left, you have a delete button over here. When you click it, you'll be asked if you want to delete it, hit delete, and the clip will then be removed from your account. Now, because I've clicked it three times, there's a couple of other ones here that I'll show you how to mass delete with. So before we get to that, if you click on one, you'll be able to change the title and save it, which means that you can go ahead and edit the clip that you created. However, you can't exactly change the length of it or when the clip was actually taken. Once it's done, it's done. So to delete multiple clips, simply hit the checkbox next to the clips you want to delete and hit the bin at the very top. Then go ahead and click a delete and those clips you have selected will be removed from your account. Of course, if the clip was published and it was visible on the creator's page, it will also be removed from there, whether it was at the top of the list or not even visible on the top or trending tabs. Now, of course, downloading a Twitch clip is a bit of a different story, which is why I've linked to another video of mine down below where you can see exactly how you do that. And as a little bonus, I've also linked another video of mine where it shows you how to record live streams that are currently going without having to use OBS or something to record your screen. Anyways, that's about it. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you all for watching. My name is Ben Tech Number here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.